Hello everyone, this is part three to kind of eva uh, elaborate on some of the care on like what I meant with, on what the characters could be done with. I have a speech impediment, my bad. Um, so like with the characters, they could be like various job classes to quote Final Fantasy. And each of the characters might be like heavy weapons or maybe a skirmisher type character or a sniper or... Uh, maybe more melee focused and oriented, um, maybe more explosives, I don't know. It, they could have a varying type of job class. Well, let's just use a quick example, it's like a Beltway and Barry. They could be a heavy weapons type character, but they might be different considering the fact Beltway could focus more solely with explosives and explosive heavy weaponry. Well, Barry could probably focus more with, of course, Barry's gun. That counts as a heavy weapon all in itself, from what I heard. And it would be just a... There, there'd be just a... There, there'd be a difference. They wouldn't be the same characters. Chris wouldn't be the same as maybe another sniper. Um, Helena wouldn't be the same as Leon in the sense of using maybe more close combat oriented stuff. I don't know. But it's the fact that even if characters will have the same job class, whether it be medic or sniper or heavy weapons, they'll each have various different builds they can go with, just like in some games like Borderlands, which give you a branching choice of what you want to kind of level up to. So, um, that's pretty much one, that's pretty much, yeah. It's to show that there's some difference in the build that there could be. Um, also, is that with the kind of various pairings, I think I talked about that, is the pairings aren't necessarily in groups. Like maybe if you have a group of maybe certain characters, like an all Spec Ops group or an all USS group, or maybe all, all a group that survived Raccoon City, like Sherry, Claire, Sherry, Claire, Leon, and Jill. There could be like a special group where it might be a team health bonus or something. Um, but uh, the kind of thing I was going with is what they... Like if you have two people like Billy and Rebecca, they can heal each other. Like Rebecca can heal Billy more because she and Billy were partners in the game. Um, there might be more higher damage whenever they're within a foot radius of each other. There might be more uh, like a much easier much easier chance to save them they might be able to heal them when they revive them something like that and it can add a little more tactics in a sense okay who am i playing as who am i playing with now how am i able to help back this up it's kind of strategy wise do you want to put this or do you want to make it tough on you and yeah just a little thing another thing is the option of having multiplayer you can either just go out alone with single player you can have a another buddy in here and what would be even more effort I'll get into effort in a second is that if you can make that decision of going whether online offline single player multiplayer with like two three or four person co-op and the thing is whenever you choose like single player or two player or three player you won't have any AI partners because some people there have been a lot of troubles with AI AIs in the past Resident Evil game so that's one th that's something I figured put out there that people might actually like for this idea now effort is that this is a big game it's not going to be linear it can be fairly open like the smaller parts of opera of uh, black but Assassin's Creed Black Flag. So it'll be smaller. They'll be open though, to where you can still go in the buildings, loot, find survivors, do side quests. And it'll just add a sense that there was effort put in this game. Effort Capcom is what is required to make a good game. Breath of Fire 6 will not be a good game. It's going to suck. So, okay, there's my rant. Um, so, like I said in part two, like, comment down below, subscribe, ask the questions, I'll answer. Have a good day.